Good afternoon. Today is Friday, December 1st, and we are on our way to go pick up Alyssa from school because David works on Fridays. And it's raining, which is better than snow at this time of year. I like snow at Christmas time, but after that, I can take it or leave it, if I'm going to be honest. It doesn't really bother me. It's going to bother me this year because I got a man that thinks he can shovel snow. Well, the doctor told him he can't. And so I know we're going to have many, 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 many battles about him going outside to shovel the snow. I should probably put my lights on. I'm not, I have an old car that doesn't automatically come on. <laughs> so, um, anyway, we do have birthdays today. Today is David and Alyssa's mother, Jimmy's first wife. Um, Samantha's birthday, not Samantha, Samantha's who he's with now. They're not married, but I consider them married. They said they're never going to get married. It's Cindy's birthday, and she doesn't watch my channel. No song for her. I did send her a message. I did send her a card, so I got her covered. But it's also, I wrote it down. Did I grab the wrong card? No, I got the right card. Marilyn W.'s birthday. So, Marilyn, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marilyn. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And it's also Zenda Morris. Zenda. That's kind of cool name. I like that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zenda. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Well, I hope you all have a great, great birthday today, December 1st. I didn't want to forget you because I told you that on another video. I had a friend that said, I'm the first. Nobody remembers me until about the second or the third. And they go, oh, yeah, Ron's birthday was the other day. No, I want to remember your birthdays. Um, I was a real lazy butt today. I didn't go to bed till quarter to three. And I didn't get my butt out of bed till 11 o'clock. And then I've been rushing doing stuff because um, our Christmas party is going to be at Jimmy's house on Saturday the 16th. And we didn't really draw names we just got uh, we filled out little cards on my Thanksgiving day um, who wants to be in? not everybody gets in the gift draw we have Scrooges in this family just like everybody else that didn't want to be in on the gift draw but then we had to list three things that we wanted so that we kind of got something that we wanted for um, our gift so I have to draw the names today well there's a couple named people that didn't fill out their card and I didn't notice so I had to call them this morning to find out what they were. And then I had to um, plan the menu. Denise, Mary, and Mike and I, we pay for all the, the luncheon meats and the cheeses and stuff like that. So I was calling people to find out what they wanted to bring. And um, the funny thing is for Thanksgiving, I told Samantha her job was to bring bread because she's got a bread machine and she can make her own bread. Well, I guess she ran out of time and she didn't make the bread, but she bought the bread. But when she came into the house, because she knows her job is to carve the turkey, because, oh my gosh, she is perfect with carving the turkey. She gets every little ounce of meat off that bird. There's nothing left on that bird. Even when I make the turkey soup afterwards on the carcass, it's slim pickings to pick some meat off that bird <laughs> to get into the soup. But uh, anyway, so she was supposed to bring the bread. So she comes in and she says, where's the knife? I'm ready to start my carving. And so she started doing it. And then when we're putting everything out for dinner, I noticed that she, come on, come on, she, lollygaggers. I could have made it, but she was a lollygagger. And this guy, it's all about him. Walk the way so I can't see. Go so I can see. No, I can go. I know. Anyway, um, so, we, you know, I, we put everything out, but there was no bread. So we get all done with the dinner. And um, Samantha goes, oh, my gosh, the bread is in the car. And I said, well, I'll take some bread. You know, I, I can always use some bread because I'm thinking she made homemade bread. I love homemade bread. It was just regular loaf bread that she bought. I mean, it was still bread. Like, I kept it because I, it was Italian bread. I don't buy that much Italian bread because Jim doesn't like Italian bread. I love Italian bread. Anyway, um, anyway, bread. Who doesn't love bread? So I... Um, so I was asking her what she wanted to bring. <laughs> and so she said, I'll bring, because it's at her house, so she doesn't have to bring anything, but she has to supply something. I said, what would you like to bring? And she says, I think I'll bring some bread. I go, 
You mean the bread you left over from Thanksgiving? <laughs> she says, ha, 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 ha. Uh, she says, no, I'll go home, buy some bread or make some bread. So I said, okay. So anyway, I was calling people to see what they wanted to bring. And then my nephew, Steve, I knew he was at work. So I just texted him. And, you know, he's the one that goes, a prize. Uh, anyway, I texted him and he says, I'll bring whatever you want me to bring. What do you want me to bring? And I put chips and dip because I figure he's a man. He's single. You know, run to the store, run to a party store, pick up a bag of chips and get some dip. And so he texted me back. Sorry, I can't bring that. No, he put, no, he didn't say sorry. He says, I can't bring that. And I thought, oh my gosh, I can't think of anything easier for you to bring than chips and dip. You just walk in the store and pay for it. And so then not two minutes later, he texts me back. He says, damn, autocorrect. Yes, I can bring chips and dip. Something so easy. How would it be that hard not to bring? I thought, that was my thoughts exactly. So I got pretty much the menu covered with everybody. We got the time set. I know we're on a dirt road, so I'm sorry. With the rain and everything, all the holes are coming out. So it's going to be a little little bit of a bumpy ride. But uh, so we got the menu plan. We're going to meet at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody, oh, I, that's what I got to remind them. They got to bring their own drinks. Got to bring your own drink because it's just, it gets too expensive. Jimmy will have drinks, but it's better to have your own drinks. Less of expense for him. And then, um, then I'm filming two collabs today. I'm going to go over here. It's way out of the way. There's no other cars coming. See, yeah, it's a little smoother. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to film two collabs today. One is in two weeks, I think it goes up. I'm doing collabs this month for Vlogmas, because today's the first day of Vlogmas. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, I'm doing Vlogmas with Jonah, Jones Point of Play, um, Edie over at Easy Adventures, and Kim at Girl on Her Phone. Kim's doing Vlogmas, but she had surgery today. Went well. She's out of surgery to get her left knee replaced. And so uh, she filmed the collabs ahead of time. She filmed a couple other things. She's not going to have a daily vlogmas, but she's going to get on as much as she can. So anyway, I'm doing um, a potato soup that's going to go up in a couple weeks that you make with hash browns, hash brown potatoes. So I'm going to make that today, and that's what Jim and I are going to have for dinner. No tuna fish sandwich for me today. Can you believe it? No tuna fish sandwich for me. I, it's going to be odd not having tuna on today. Okay, buddy. You're taking too long. Um, and then um, I'm making an appetizer that's due tomorrow. So tonight when I show you my dinner, you'll see the soup. So you'll see what it is. But I don't think I'm going to show you my appetizer because we're going to have that for dinner too. It's a, it's a pizza roll-up. Um, you make it with puff pastry. It's only four points. I haven't figured out how much the dip is because I'm sure the dip's going to probably be another three or four points. But I mean, it looks tasty enough. It's just made with puff pastry and cheese and bacon, parsley. It, it looked really good. It did really look really good. So I'm going to make that. And then I've already eaten my breakfast, which I'll show you at the end. Um, my plan for Vlogmas, I know Vlogmas is supposed to be somebody you, that you just do a daily vlog. And I do a daily vlog anyhow, so... I'm going to try to think of something a little bit different that I can do. And so what I thought what I would do is at the end of my videos, after I show you what I've had to eat, um, I'm going to try, keyword try, to get my home. Oh my gosh. This is why kids should not have cars. They're coming out of the high school here and they think that they're, he, he almost tipped over. Because it's, you know, like there's not icy, but it's wet. And so he lost control, and but able to control grab control, but I thought I thought for sure he was going to end up in that ditch over there. But anyway, I'm going to try to get my family to share Christmas memories. Uh, Jim did share a Christmas memory this morning, so I, I do have that at the end of the video. Now, some of them you might have heard already. Some of them I might have told. Some of them I might have told last Christmas. I can't remember that far back. But it'll be like a, a refresher, a replay that you can figure out what it is. Not refigure it. Relive it again. I guess that would be a better way of saying it. Relive it. So, um, we'll pull in right between these two people and they'll go, you're talking to who are you talking to? So anyway. 
open the door before I forget. I gotta go to the post office. Oh my gosh, Edie. I know, I always talk to Edie. <laughs> I always do. She had so many Christmas cards that she was sending out. And so I, t I in my comments, I said, are those for the church too? Because there was a lot. No, those are just Edie's. I thought, Edie, I thought I was doing good with sending out like 25 or 30 of them. <laughs> you, you got a lot. But uh, when I worked, one of the perks of working was I was in the mail room and <coughs> I could just run my, my uh, things through there. And uh, pe the people that I liked in the building that I talked to, not so much that I liked, the people that I talked to, I should, that would be a better way of putting it, that I talked to all the time, they would bring me their mail and I would run it through. I did that all year round, like when they pay their bills and stuff like that. I thought the company didn't pay us enough. They could afford that. I know that was probably stealing, but I um I just considered it a perk, a perk of the uh, of the job. And my boss knew I was doing it because he brought me his mail. <laughs> so I'm thinking, if he's bringing me his mail and he wants me to do his mail, I think he knows that I'm doing other people's mail too. So, and then what else is new? I got to figure out the points on the soup because I haven't done that yet. Like I said, I know how many points the appetizer is. My cookie's not really a cookie, but I'm going to do a call it a cookie because I'm going to use a cookie cutter. I don't make cookies very well. Um, that's not that I don't make them well. I just don't have the patience for adding all the ingredients. My kind of a cookie is like the when you buy the Nestle packs and then you break them off and put them on the, the chocolate chip cookies and you break the little pieces off and you put them on the cookie sheet and pop them in the oven. <clears throat> Birdie's already started her Christmas cookies. She's She does like, oh my gosh, she does so many different kind of cookies. And she puts out a beautiful cookie tray. She should. I told her she should sell them. They're so pretty when she gets done with them. And she decorates them and all that stuff. I, I don't have the time or the patience for that. And you know what? I'm retired, so I really do have the time. But I just don't have the patience. That would be a better way of putting it. I just don't have the patience for it. And then, kind of bummed because Jim's not putting any Christmas decorations out outside. I want to get him, David, at least to bring up my snowman and my Santa Claus. I have from the... They were my parents put out in the 50s and 60s, the old Santa Claus and the old uh, <clears throat> snowman. Mm. I love seeing this, like when these people, like she must be in child care because she's carrying out a baby carrier with the, those fake dolls that cry and all that, which you can just turn off. You can't turn off a real baby. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Alyssa did that last year. She, had, she asked, she wanted to go out with her friends one day and she asked me if I'd babysit her grand, her grand, her, her baby. And I says, oh, my great grandbaby, of course I'll babysit. <laughs> Thankfully, that doll didn't cry. It was good the whole time. It was the perfect baby. Um, so, I got to drive Alyssa home. I have to wait at her house for about 20, 25 minutes because she's got to go to work at 3 o'clock. She gets out of school at 2.10. And it's only five minutes to get her home. So if I would have thought, I would have brought the ingredients for the stuff and I could have uh, fix, figured out the points at her house. But I didn't think. Didn't think that far ahead. And I guess that's all I got to talk about right now. Hmm. Miserable day. Miserable day. What do you want me to talk about? I was going to say something about Christmas, though. I know I was going to talk, tell you about something about Christmas, and I, I got sidetracked on it. Oh, here comes, nope, that's not Alyssa. She looks like Alyssa. Oh, my gosh, she looks just like Alyssa. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to sit here and listen to some Christmas music, and then I will talk to you guys in a little while. Pretty sure I will. We'll see. Well, we just got Melissa off at work. And she's informed me she doesn't have any Christmas memories. And so I said, you know what? You have until next Friday because that's when I pick her up again. Although, no, I'll see her on Thursday. That's right. Because Thursday we're decorating Christmas cookies. Well, gingerbread cookies. My cousin Lynn always brings gingerbread cookies. And the frosting and all the little sprinkles and stuff to put on it. And the kids look forward to it every year doing that. So, um... I'll get her then. She's not, she's not getting out of it that easy. Oh, uh, you know, a lot of traffic today. 
I don't know why. But I told you I thought of another Christmas memory and I couldn't remember what it was because I was babbling on like a fool like I do normally do. And so I thought of what it was. I was talking about with my uh, my parents having their Santa Clauses and so men that I put out just kind of like a memory of them. Which I just love them. They're just... I know this is not a turning lane. This is like a ticket. But you can't get across all the highways if you do it the other way. If you do it the legal way. But uh, anyway, we had we had bought when we were first married in 1971. We lived in an upper flat, but there were, I knew that at some point we were going to have a house. And at the end of Christmas, they had a sale on the things that looked kind of similar to the snowman and the Santa Claus. And it was Santa Claus pulling a, uh, Santa Claus in his in his sleigh, and then it had six reindeer that attached to put into the snow. So when we did, we packed it away. We never used it till we bought our. We, we got married in '71. We lived in a flat until '76. '76 we rented a house, and uh, so we put that the first Christmas, the very first Christmas, we put that Santa Claus, which was nice because. Um, Jimmy was probably, he was four, so he was like really into Santa, you know, like into Christmas and all that. And um, so we put the sleigh into the ground, and then we put the reindeer into the ground, and then they kept tipping over. So Jim put these, like I, like these kind of hooks, into the things to hold them into place. And that was the year we got a lot of snow, and it was really, 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 really cold. And when it came time to take all the Christmas lights down, took, took all the Christmas lights down, he couldn't get the Santa sleigh or the reindeer out of the ground because they had frozen into the ground, and so they were stuck. So we had Santa and his reindeer on the front lawn until Easter almost. I, guess, I think Easter was early that year. I think it was the end of March. It really is not out around here until probably the end of April. <laughs> so... Every time we pulled up, I'd see those gypsies. There's the snowman. There's the, there's the, no, that's the snowman. There's the Santa Claus. And there's the reindeer you just had to have out in front. And I go, well, somebody didn't have to put those little hooks in to hold them into the ground. But, so it was nice. And then, you know, eventually, I don't know what ever happened to that. Isn't it strange that I still have the snowman? Okay, come on. It's a four-way stop. I hate four-way stops. But I, I like them better than a round bump. I can't stand around them. My buddy, he didn't have the right of way, but he almost hit me. Um, and aren't you scared driving with me sometimes? <laughs> but I get from point A to point B. I, I never look behind me to see if I cause any damage behind me. I look straight at <laughs> But anyway, but the, the Santa and the snowman that from my parents, I still have. But the sleigh and the reindeer, maybe because they got so, maybe they were so attached to the ground that, I don't know. Anyway, that was the Christmas memory I was trying to remember. And then we get to Alyssa's house, and it's dark. And I go, well, where's the light switch to turn a light on? We couldn't figure out how to turn a light on. And I just sit in the dark. And then I forgot their password for their internet, so it's a good thing I didn't bring the other stuff. Because um, the last they've gotten new internet since I was there last time. Because usually, any place I go, it just automatically goes onto their internet after I signed in the first time. But they got new internet service. They went from, I think they went from WOW to uh, Direct TV type of thing. So I don't, I didn't have it. So I just edited my video. I could do that without the internet. So I did edit my video a little bit. So now I'm going to go home and get my potato soup going and film it. Danny might be coming over tonight. If he does, I'll film it, but I don't think he is because we saw him at the concert the other day. I made my Christmas list for my kids. They didn't like my original list. I asked for new windshield wiper blades. I asked for stuff that I wouldn't go, I don't want to go buy. I don't think that's unreasonable. They thought windshield wiper blades was an unreasonable Christmas gift. I didn't think so. So, and then I asked for some Starbucks gift cards because I. I I will not pay that much for a drink at Starbucks. I just won't. It's just too much. But you give me a gift card, <laughs> I'll be up there going, here's my card. 
and I'll be getting it. So I asked for a gift card, and they go, well, I want to get you a gift card. And then I, I asked for some books, although I really don't, I get most of my books at the library now. So, I don't know. But that's, that's it. I think I'm, that's going to be it. I'm going to show you what I had for breakfast. I'm not going to eat lunch today. Um, so my breakfast and my dinner, I'll show you. I'm going to show you Jim's Vlogmas memory. Vlogmas day one in the books. So like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. An early Christmas present from Christy. Look how cute it is. She knows how I love my birds. Plus she brought me a book to read. I don't know when we're going to get to it. Then there's Sophia. And there's Christy. How did I she greet you? The flashlight? I know it just comes on. It's dark back here. What? I said, what did I say to you when you got all insulted? What are you doing here? I thought you weren't coming here until tomorrow. I uh, know. Give me a quick pick of my tree, which you've seen in the background anyhow. Okay, for breakfast today, we're going to have some yogurt for one point with some berries for zero, a cup of tea for zero, banana and egg for zero, two slices of toast for four points, a half a tablespoon of peanut butter for two, and a half a tablespoon of jelly for two. So it is a six, eight, nine point breakfast. Okay, for dinner, I'm going to have a bowl of broccoli, or broccoli soup, potato soup for six points, and half a cup of chocolate milk for another seven points. So it's a 13 point dinner. Well, let me tell you, the soup I made was delicious. It's going to be on a collab on the 15th, I think it is, of December for potato soup. Jim and I loved it. The appetizer that I made for tomorrow, <laughs> a hot mess. Let me tell you, a hot, hot mess. Oh, my tooth is coming up. Anyway, uh, I'm going to share the video tomorrow only because it's so late. I waited to the very last minute to film my appetizer video. I haven't got time or the strength or the ambition or anything else to uh, redo it. So you're going to see a complete flop failure mess tomorrow on my appetizer vlog. <laughs> but um, I promised that I'd put it up, so it's going to go up. So tune in tomorrow, 9 o'clock in the morning. See a hot mess. <laughs> but in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, for Vlogmas, I'm going to try to do each day a memory from one member of my family. Uh, today we're going to do Jim. So um, let's start off Vlogmas with uh, Jim's memory. Okay, what's your memory, Jim? My memory is uh, when our son Danny... He was, uh, you know what uh, I'm going to be saying. What grade was he in? First. He was in the first grade, and he come home, and it was just before Christmas. And he had his uh, winter coat on and his uh, little school bag and everything. And he was uh, talking to Sandra and saying that, he heard some of the kids in school talking about there's no Santa Claus. It's just your parents. And he was asking her if that was true. And Sandra, being very diplomatic, told him, well, it's whatever you believe, Danny. If you believe there's a Santa Claus, there's a Santa Claus. And he said, well, I want to believe, but, you know, I find it hard to believe. So is there a Santa Claus? And she said, no, Danny, there's really no Santa Claus. So he slumped down in the chair, so dejected, and then he goes, well, I guess there's no Easter Bunny either, is there? <laughs> and I just couldn't stop laughing. Thank you for sharing your memory.